Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 14th November, the Director General of ICG VS Pathania undertook his maiden sortie for 45 minutes in the Indigenous Light Utility Helicopter at HL facility in Bengaluru. Being an ACE helicopter pilot himself, the DG undertook the sortie in LUH prototype to get a first-hand feel of the flying characteristics and advanced capabilities of the helicopter. He said that LUH is an excellent flying machine with state-of-art technologies. The visit was aimed towards exploring the development of indigenously built helicopters to replace the aging fleet of ICG Chetak helicopters which would be completing their service life soon. As per reports, ICG will set up a committee comprising of all stakeholders including HL that will define the qualitative requirements of a maritime single-engine helicopter replacing ICG Chitak fleet. The Indian Navy has also been looking to replace its aging fleet of Chitak helicopters with the latest naval utility helicopter. In the year 2017, Navy came up with an RFI to procure 111 naval utility helicopters. The NUH are to be used for multiple roles, including search and rescue, casualty evacuation, and low intensity maritime operations, as well as torpedo attacks. Back in October 2021, the Indian Navy and HL has done an extensive review of NUH requirement. Navy has asked for 60 NUH based on ALH as per by Indian IDDM category of defense equation procedure. The new NUH will be a variant of LH and LUH modified for ship-based operation based on Indian Navy's requirement. HL is now working on detailed project report covering the helicopter configuration and overall cost and will be submitting the details to MOD. On 16th March 2023, the Defence Equation Council has given acceptance of necessity for Rs 70,584 crores, which also includes the naval utility helicopters. The major issue with advanced light helicopter in NUH role was its folding blades. Navy has specified the requirement of 3.5 meter folded blades right from the beginning. Even concession was given to HL to achieve a 5.4 meter folded width to begin with instead of 3.5 meter, which HL failed to achieve initially. The blade folding was taking more time and the size of folded blade was bigger than what was required. Navy wanted folding blades to be quick and easy like other naval helicopters such as Chetak, Sea King or Kamovka. Back in November 2020, HL carried out the demonstration of tail boom folding operation on LH Mark III DWDM prototype. In combination with existing two blade folding, the achieved stowage dimension of LH was 13.5 meter in length, 3.5 meter in width, and 4.1 meter in height, meeting the Indian Navy's NUH specification. But to achieve this, a lot of modifications were done to naval LH Mark III. Segmented blade folding and automatic tail boom fold was also included. With these changes, LH segmented blade folding was taking less than 6 minutes, which is well within the Navy's requirement. The same has been demonstrated to Indian Navy. Another trial was conducted in April 2021 to demonstrate the deck operational capabilities that includes landing on the deck, folding of blades, and storing the helicopter inside the onboard hangar. The shipborne trials were conducted off Chennai coast in collaboration with Indian Coast Guard. It also covered maintenance activity inside the hangar and on the deck and hot refueling with engines running on the deck. These trials have now proven the capabilities of ALH Dhruv. With the successful demonstration of these capabilities like blade folding, stowage, the helicopter is now ready to be fielded for operation. If you closely observe the blades of HL Dhruv, only the side blades need to be folded which moves backwards. The blades at the front and back remains at their original position. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector